Okay guys this manga is still ongoing according to net, so what I'm gonna do is I will follow till 300 chapters which are with images but if you want full story drop comment, but after 300 there will not be any images I will use random image if you like then please see this manga if you don't like no problem have a nice day babies. 9 PM, 1 Alluring Night After drinking a little too much at her bachelorette party, Tang Ning's fiancé picked her up and brought her home to their apartment. Finally coming to her senses, she forced open her eyes, holding back an excruciating headache. As her vision cleared she could make out the figure of a man and a woman kissing passionately under the dimly lit room. Like being struck by lightning, Tang Ning looked at the two in shock as they continued to kiss by her bedside. The anger inside her began to boil. Yura, stop messing around, Tang Ning only just fell asleep, the man warned as he restrained the woman by her waist. What? Are you afraid your fiancé will wake up? Mo Yura responded in an annoyed tone, you are getting married tomorrow. Why don't you give yourself to me tonight? Babe, you are such a troublemaker, let's go to the other room, the man smiled seductively. No. I want to do it here. I want to do it right in front of her. Mo Yura swiftly unbuttoned the man's shirt as their lips once again locked. Tang Ning tried to hold back her tears, but could feel them slowly trickling down her face. Who would have thought, the man she was to marry the next day would be cheating right in front of her? Behave, let's go to the bathroom. Isn't the bathtub your favorite place? Fine then. You go in and fill up the bathtub first, Mo Yura nudged the man's chest towards the bathroom. As soon as the man left the room, she sauntered over to Tang Ning. Leaning over with a cold smile, she whispered, Tang Ning, I'm not going to let you and you fan sign those papers tomorrow. I'm pregnant, he's mine. Tang Ning tightened her hands into a fist as she held back her emotions careful not to let out a sound. It was not until she heard the moaning sounds of the couple coming from the bathroom did she feel her world had fallen apart. Three years ago, Tang Ning was once Beijing's top model. But, because of this man, she gave up everything, handing over her hard-earned position to Mo Yura. As it turned out, everything she did merely went towards preparing someone else's wedding dress. No. This must be a dream, just a horrible nightmare everything will be back to normal tomorrow. Tang Ning continued to lie to herself. Until halfway through the night, Mo Yura complained of feeling unwell as she led Han Yufan out of the hotel. With that, Han Yufan was to leave and not return. But, they were to get married tomorrow. The next day, as planned, Tang Ning drove to the civil affairs office with a bitter smile. As she stepped out of her car, she gave Han Yufan a call. The voice on the other side coldly answered, Mo Yura was injured on stage, I have to deal with this urgent matter first. Let's postpone the registration to another day. There is no another day, Tang Ning disappointedly told herself. Tang Ning turned around and put on her sunglasses, ready to leave, but at that moment, her eyes were drawn to a tall figure heading her way. She couldn't help notice the fitted dark blue retro suit which complemented the masculine body underneath and out of the front chest pocket, the corner of a wine red handkerchief could be seen peering out subtly. Glancing down, Tang Ning could see a pair of perfectly straight legs leading to a pair of freshly polished brown leather shoes which glistened in the sun. This man, had such a strong presence, like that of a medieval king. Especially as he got closer, although he was wearing sunglasses, his perfectly chiseled face and sexy lips were enough to drive any woman crazy. Tang Ning recognized this man, he was the CEO of Hai Rui Entertainment Mo Ting. Back when she was still famous, they had met once at a ball. Is he also getting married today? President, Miss Chi has not arrived on time, she is late by 10 minutes, the assistant behind him reported. Ring the Chi family and tell them, if they can't even be on time to a wedding, then don't bother coming at all, the man responded coldly. But, the chairman said that you must get married today, no matter what. Even if you were to marry a transvestite he wouldn't care, the assistant replied timidly. Then, 
just randomly pick a lady from the socialite families, I'll give you half an hour, the man ordered. He seemed a bit unreasonable. Oh, so he is faced with a similar dilemma, even though it is slightly different. Mo Ting had so much power, he could simply choose any woman he wanted. And as one of the most eligible bachelors, love was not his priority, his priority was to deal with the pressures from his elders to get married. Suddenly, an idea came to Tang Ning's mind. Taking off her sunglasses, she walked in front of the man and gently suggested, President Mo, your bride hasn't arrived and my groom has run away, may I suggest we get married? Mo Ting's assistant froze in disbelief, how is this woman so brave? Tang Ning stood straight in confidence, she had gathered all her courage to do this. Mo Ting removed his sunglasses, revealing a pair of dark ink-like eyes, his pupils glimmered like a diamond. After a short moment, he turned to his assistant and ordered, give me her details. Of course, Mo Ting's assistant already knew who Tang Ning was. He quickly grabbed his cell phone, did a quick search for Tang Ning's name and offered the findings to his boss. Two minutes later, the man's lips twitched ever so slightly as he responded with one word, OK. Tang Ning felt that meeting Mo Ting was the luckiest thing that could happen to her. He had no reason to use a woman, nor did he require love and best of all, he had no shortage of women to sleep with. Ultimately, she wanted Han Yufan to regret his decision. The couple's wedding procedures were processed quickly. In just half an hour, Tang Ning held the marriage certificate in her hands. From now on, she was a married woman. President Mo, may I have a few words with you? Get in the car. Mo Ting put his sunglasses back on as he walked out of the registration hall. Tang Ning followed closely behind. After getting into the Rolls Royce, she nervously looked at Mo Ting before requesting, Thank you for marrying me. If you need anything from me in return, please tell me, I will do anything. However, I have two simple requests I hope you can promise to abide by. Speak. Mo Ting responded tiredly as he loosened his collar. Firstly, unless you have no choice, do not reveal our relationship. Secondly, do not interfere in my personal matters. Do not worry, since we are married, I will not get overly close to another man. After listening to Tang Ning's requests, Mo Ting gave a slight smirk. A dangerous aura swept through the car, I promise you, but, after I give you some time to tidy up your past, I want us to have a trial marriage. After six months, I will publicly announce our marriage. Thank you. Tang Ning nodded. Also, I don't believe a married couple should live separately. I'll give you three days to pack all your belongings and move to a place of my choice. My assistant will be in touch with you. Tang Ning had no objections. Since they were now married, a request like this was reasonable. So she obediently nodded her head as she replied, I agree. Good. After the two made their verbal agreement, Tang Ning got out of Mo Ting's car and left. Mo Ting's assistant sat himself in the driver's seat and looked at Mo Ting through the rearview mirror, President, shall we return to the office? Or would you like to return to the mansion to tell the chairman the news? Follow Tang Ning and report her every move to me. Mo Ting ordered before stepping out of the car. Suddenly asking him to marry her, something must have happened. As the president of an international entertainment agency, of course, he had heard of Tang Ning before. Once a famous model in the industry, three years ago she suddenly rejected an offer from the top entertainment agency, Star King, resulting in her being blacklisted. Eventually, she announced she would be signing with Tianyi Entertainment and became a hot topic with the boss, Han Yufan. And thus began the fall of a supermodel. But, from the looks of it, Tang Ning's story did not end there. In all honesty, Tang Ning had never realized she was so brave she had actually married a stranger. But, what was done was done, she would never regret her decision. Tang Ning returned to her car. Just as she was about to start the engine and head home, she received a phone call from Han Yufan. Tang Ning, where are you right now? 
In front of the civil affairs office, about to go home, Tang Ning replied casually, hiding her emotions. Yura has a very important show, I need you to substitute her immediately. I'll tell the makeup artist to provide you with a mask no one will be able to tell it is you, Han Yufan ordered with the tone of a superior. Since Yura is injured, you will have to suffer a little. Didn't you say Miss M.O. got hurt on stage? In that case, the media should already know she is at the hospital. But, I have already asked someone to let it slip that she will still be attending even with her injuries. I told you to go, so go. He was so shameless. In the past, Tang Ning had already done stupid things like this for M.O. Yura. As it seems, she was being used. However, she wasn't going to continue this way. Tang Ning stayed calm and nodded, OK, let me know the time and address, I'll head over there now. Tang Ning, we are about to get married. Help give Yura a bit of a boost, her career is currently on the rise. I'll give her a boost for sure, Tang Ning responded with a hidden meaning. I'll hang up then. Let's have dinner later. Han Yufan had no idea the tables had turned, presumably now, he would be sitting by Mo Yura's bedside, watching over his lover tenderly, Tang Ning hung up the phone before giving her manager a call. Her manager immediately responded in anger. President Han wants you to step in for that B-grade model? Is he joking? If you didn't decide to retreat from the spotlight, she would not even survive in the industry. Long Ji, I've already agreed, Tang Ning replied calmly. Do you really have to go? Her manager was about to spew blood in disbelief. Tang Ning and Mo Yura were both models signed under Tianyi Entertainment, but because of Tang Ning's decision to retreat, her manager was dragged down with her and ridiculed. Tang Ning knew her manager wanted to stick up for her injustice. Reassuringly she responded, I won't be that stupid anymore, I will not let them use me. After hearing those words from Tang Ning, her manager's face lit up, so, are you saying you have a plan? Long Ji, from now on I can only trust in you, can you help me do something? Speak. Her manager was loyal to her. After all, they shared the same objective. Mo Yura is so desperate to convince the media that she is attending the show even with her injuries because she doesn't want it to impact her eligibility for the top 10 model awards. Help me pay a visit to Tianhe Hospital. I see what you're getting at. Obtain evidence that she was still at the hospital during the show and reveal it to the public, the manager smiled excitedly. No, I have bigger news. She's pregnant. And the child is Han Yufan's. Also, help me prepare a statement stating that Han Yufan has used me multiple times to substitute Mo Yura during her shows. As for which shows? I will need you to help me find evidence for that. The manager was surprised at first, but quickly understood why Tang Ning's attitude had changed. Such a shameless cheating couple. Not only did they cheat, but they also used Tang Ning ordering her around like a puppet. Don't worry Tang Ning, I will help you do all these things. Tang Ning did not respond. She felt unusually calm. She was going to treat them like they had treated her. After clearing her thoughts, Tang Ning quickly gathered her belongings and drove herself over to the venue for the show to meet up with Mo Yura's assistant. He was a married man with a strong bulky physique and a cunning personality. He was reasonably polite to Tang Ning. Even though she was no longer famous, the Tang family was still not one to be looked down upon. What took you so long? Quick, come and get your makeup done. What type of show is it today? Tang Ning asked as she was hurried down the hallway. Nothing special, the assistant replied. In fact, it was actually a jewelry show for the famous French brand, HF. After this show, Mo Yura would have the opportunity to sign on as HF's spokesperson. Originally, Mo Yura would have lost her opportunity due to her injuries, but with Han Yufan's suggestion of using Tang Ning, Mo Yura certainly had no objections. Actually, on her way to the show, Tang Ning had already done her research on today's show, the Crown Star Jewelry Show. Mo Yura's assistant had intentionally lied to her. 
had she always been this easy to trick? Thanks to Yura's current status, you have your own makeup room. You will appear in the grand finale and this is the piece of jewelry you will be presenting today. Here is the schedule, the assistant explained as he pointed to the jewelry on the stage. He then ordered the makeup artist to start applying Tang Ning's makeup. Did Han Yufan really think that by giving her a mask, people would not be able to tell it's her? Although what she had in mind was quite extreme, she was going to give the cheating couple a surprise of a lifetime. Meanwhile, Mo Ting's assistant had been following Tang Ning's every move and overheard that she would be substituting Mo Yura in the show. Immediately he reported everything to Mo Ting. As soon as Mo Ting found out, he ordered his assistant, I am going to HF's jewelry show. Make arrangements immediately. Yes, President. This wasn't a particularly special show, but he wanted to see Tang Ning in action. 11 a.m., classical music resounded off the walls of the Hai Yi Center, the show had begun. Inside the makeup room, Tang Ning's makeup was complete and she was now standing in front of the mirror in anticipation. Wearing a white tight-fitting long dress, simple but classy, adorning a beautiful golden mask giving off a mysterious aura, hair tied back away from her face with a single white rose she was absolutely stunning. The assistant was speechless. Inside he was thinking, even if Tang Ning was to stand still, she would surely attract the attention of everyone around her. Mo Yura will get the contract for certain. You will descend onto the stage via a chair that will be lowered from above. This bracelet here is the crown star, let me put it on for you. The assistant unclasped the bracelet and carefully put it on Tang Ning. However, Tang Ning was slimmer than Mo Yura, resulting in the bracelet being too big. With a lift of her arm, the bracelet would slide around. This bracelet was designed by the founder of HF for his beloved daughter. In the middle of the golden bracelet was a crown encrusted with white diamond. On the two sides of the crown were two stars made from a pure and immaculate white gemstone just like two parents protecting their precious child. There's no way for you to wear it, what should I do? Do you trust me? Tang Ning suddenly asked Mo Yura's assistant. At this moment, I can only trust you, the assistant nodded. Without a solution, he could only trust the model. This was Yura's opportunity at being a spokesperson, if he messed it up, President Han would definitely fire him. In that case, leave it with me, Tang Ning reassured. Hurry, get ready, you will be going on stage soon. Amongst all the commotion, the assistant did not take notice of the look in Tang Ning's eyes. Tang Ning smiled as she gave a nod before lifting up her dress slightly and running towards the back of the stage. With her mask on, if you were to point out one distinguishing feature between Tang Ning and Mo Yura, it would have to be Tang Ning's legs. Tang Ning's legs were once known as one of the most beautiful legs in the world. Just as everyone thought the show had reached its climax, Tang Ning descended gracefully to the stage on a chair. All the spotlights immediately focused on her. But, the crown star was nowhere to be seen. What had happened? Everyone present ran around frantically looking for the crown star, they even searched Tang Ning all over. Because of this, many people couldn't help but notice her lovely pale long legs. Legs so beautiful, they were unforgettable. Just as everyone was about to give up, a smile appeared from behind the mysterious golden mask. Tang Ning elegantly raised her arm tilted her head backwards and lifted her left leg which was facing the audience striking a beautiful dance pose. At that moment, out from under the white dress and down her smooth legs, the crown star appeared around Tang Ning's ankle sparkling magnificently. Wow! Everyone froze in amazement at the scene in front of them. The sight of Tang Ning lying on the chair seamlessly moving from one pose to the next was unforgettable. Most impressive of all, Every single pose Tang Ning pulled, the crown star would be presented in a different light, showing off its beauty over and over again. The audience rose to their feet and gave Tang Ning a standing ovation. Amongst the crowd, in a high but hidden position, Mo Ting's gaze was focused on Tang Ning. His new wife, once Beijing's top model, was here standing in on behalf of a B-grade model. There was no denying it, 
no matter if it was three years ago or three years later, she was still the same model born for the runway. After Tang Ning's final pose, the show came to a satisfying end. HF's founder was extremely impressed with her performance. Of course, he wasn't aware the model on stage was Tang Ning, he still believed it was Mo Yura. He appeared from behind the stage and approached Tang Ning. Like a gentleman, he offered his hand, helping Tang Ning off her chair and led her to the front of the runway as they bowed thankfully to the audience. Thank you everyone, and of course, thank you Miss Mo for a spectacular performance, it was certainly impressive. Tang Ning stayed silent. She just simply responded with a bow. When suddenly, from the front of the runway came a high-pitched voice, she isn't Mo Yura, I've seen Mo Yura in real life and she does not have such long legs. At that moment, everyone was stunned as they looked up and down Tang Ning's legs with doubt, if you are indeed Mo Yura, then remove your mask. If you are not, then Tianyi Entertainment are a bunch of liars. Sounds of doubt multiplied and grew louder. Even the designers of HF were beginning to question whether the woman in front of them was Mo Yura. Miss Mo, please remove your mask, the designers were curious. Was she really Mo Yura? If she really wasn't then their collaboration with Tianyi Entertainment would have to come to an end. Tang Ning hesitated, but she was already surrounded. With no other choice, she slowly removed her mask. At that moment, everyone held their breath. At the sight of her face, some recognized her immediately as the once famed model. It's Tang Ning. It was rumored that after Tang Ning was blacklisted, her status had completely deteriorated. She was even worse off than unsigned models. Who would have thought she would stoop so low as to step in for someone else? Was she deliberately creating hype or was she forced due to her current situation? Tang Ning, it's actually Tang Ning. The reporters quickly surrounded Tang Ning, giving her no room to escape. Miss Tang, could you please explain the current situation? Mo Yura was the one that was invited to appear in today's show, but how come it turned out to be you? From what we know, you were blacklisted three years ago. Are you trying to take this opportunity to announce a comeback? As a once famous model, are you trying to take Mo Yura's jobs? Are you taking advantage of her being injured and stealing her opportunity to be a spokesperson? It's obvious you are just trying to create hype. I knew it. Mo Yura was already injured, how could she possibly attend the show? Famous supermodel my A. More like famous super cheap model. The reporters' questions got more and more intense, in fact, some were already spouting insults. Outdated cheap model. Yura should be the spokesperson, give it back to her. Tang Ning was slowly forced to retreat as the reporters surrounded her. Some even pushed her. At this moment, HF added to the insults, I am going to sue Tianyi Entertainment, what you are doing here is blatantly lying. I asked for Mo Yura. Instead, you gave me a third-rate model. The designer had no idea how famous Tang Ning was three years ago. All he knew was that he had not seen this model appear anywhere in recent years. As for you, I'll see you in court. But, for now, get lost. You do not deserve to be standing on my runway, he yelled. The sharp voice echoed through the building, even the reporters were surprised. No model would just stand there and let someone yell at them like that. Why are you still here? Get lost. Tang Ning already prepared herself for this moment, but still struggled to hold back the humiliation. It was at that moment, a deep, attractive voice resounded from the end of the stage, yes, someone should get lost indeed. In surprise, the reporters turned to where the voice was coming from. There. Standing at the end of the stage was Mo Ting. Everyone's eyes opened wide in shock. Isn't this the CEO of Hai Rui Entertainment? Why is he here? Most importantly, why is he standing on the stage? It was a well-known fact that Mo Ting despised artists that played mind games. Tang Ning is digging her own grave. This time even Hai Rui can't help but step out from behind the sidelines. Everyone held their breath certain that Tang Ning was out of luck. 
But to their surprise, Mo Ting walked over to Tang Ning and stood by her side. With the intimidating tone of a king, he turned to the designer and continued, But, she is not the one that should get lost, it is you. I could make HF disappear from Beijing if I want to. Your manners appear to be on a different level to your jewelry. Tang Ning's heartbeat stopped for a moment. Who would have thought, her new husband, who she had only met for the third time, would stand up for her? All the reporters were stunned as they began to worry. Had they known earlier that Tang Ning had ties with Hai Rui, they wouldn't have been so rude. HF's designer was not impressed, but he knew he could not offend Hai Rui International. After a few moments of silence, he reluctantly apologized, Sorry, President Mo. I didn't know of your relationship with. You are wrong, I have no relations with her. I'm just simply, questioning your character. Mo Ting denied his relation to Tang Ning and began to walk away. But before he left, he turned around and announced to the reporters, There is, however, one thing I cannot deny. She will definitely become a rising star in the modeling industry. The media were in a frenzy. What does Mo Ting mean by this? Does he have the intention to sign Tang Ning? Is this some kind of joke? Whatever the explanation, the reporters no longer dared to latch on to Tang Ning. Instead, they shifted all blame to Tianyi Entertainment. Like this, Tianyi Entertainment's troubles began and Mo Yura's assistant had unintentionally been the one that started it. If you can't even handle such a small matter, what else can you do? Let's wait and see how President Han will punish you. Tang Ning was unfazed, her expression was one of unexpected calmness. She changed her clothes and casually left the scene. Just as she stepped out of the side door, she spotted Mo Ting's sports car parked outside. Get in. Tang Ning obediently boarded the car. She was exceptionally grateful for what Mo Ting had done, thank you for today. Mo Ting's eyes slightly twitched as he let out a smirk. Did you think I would allow someone to bully my newly wedded wife in front of everyone? Actually, I'm not worthy of your help. I intentionally allowed everyone to figure out who I really was, Tang Ning explained apologetically. Mo Ting looked straight into the eyes of the person sitting across from him, I know. It's just that, if you couldn't have thought of a better way to scheme against someone, you should have asked me. Sacrificing yourself to get back at someone is a bit of a stupid move, don't you think? Tang Ning. Where should I drop you off? Your home. Aren't we a married couple now? Tang Ning replied undoubtedly. Since she had already made the decision, she was not going to take it back, nor regret. Are you sure? Not only are we married, but tonight is also our wedding night. Tang Ning blushed, but nodded in certainty. I've already prepared myself and I am very thankful that you did not reveal our relationship. However, from now on, I insist you remain neutral. I want to rely on myself to retrieve what is rightfully mine. Mo Ting did not insist. After all, it was rare to see a woman that did not use him as a stepping stone to benefit themselves. He decided to sit back and watch Tang Ning show off her skills. The couple set off. Not long after, Tang Ning received a phone call from her manager, Long Ji, Tang Ning, I have already found evidence of Mo Yura's pregnancy. What do you want me to do with it? Also, the scene you caused at the jewelry show today has gone viral. People are condemning you all over the internet. What do you plan to do? Long Ji, are you willing to stay by my side? Why are you asking such nonsense? Long Ji mumbled, did you expect me to continue following that cheating couple? Then release the statement I asked you to prepare earlier. But be warned, by doing this, you will be going up against Tianyi Entertainment. I'm not afraid. Long Ji exclaimed excitedly. We should have done this sooner. I will go prepare the evidence now and release it before Han Yufan has the chance to respond. Tang Ning hung up and the car returned to its original peacefulness. Deep down, Tang Ning was actually quite nervous. What did Mo Ting think of her? I. No need to explain. 
your conversation just now, I heard it all. However, I have one question, have you always been this honest? The car had stopped at a red light and Mo Ting took this opportunity to grab hold of Tang Ning's jaw, examining her with his eagle-like gaze. I am only honest in front of you and I intend for it to stay this way, Tang Ning revealed her loyalty, because I am afraid you may misunderstand and think badly of me. Mo Ting was surprised for a moment, before he continued speaking, if I were you, I would be even more extreme. Mo Ting must have guessed by now what was going on between Tang Ning, Mo Yura, and Han Yufan. Because of his reaction, Tang Ning developed an appreciation for her new husband. She vowed to herself, no matter what was to happen she was going to remember this day and the promises she made to Mo Ting forever. Meanwhile, Han Yufan was in disbelief as he received news of Tang Ning's exposure on stage. Not only that, at that moment, he also received a phone call from HF, notifying him of their intention to take Tianyi Entertainment to court for breaching their contract. In an instant, Tianyi Entertainment had gotten themselves into a heap of trouble while rumors were spreading all over the internet like wildfire. Mo Yura was focused on the recording of Tang Ning's performance on stage as she pulled Han Yufan towards her, look, Tang Ning wanted to be recognized. She knew the biggest difference between her and IRR legs. She did it on purpose. Yura, Tang Ning isn't like that. It's not like it's the first time she's substituted for you, deep down Han Yufan still trusted Tang Ning. So what you're saying is that you trust Tang Ning more. Don't be stupid Yufan. Now this incident has happened, someone has to take the blame. Do you really want to lose this contract? Do you want to tell everyone that you were the one that asked Tang Ning to substitute me? If that's the case, then we are doomed. What are you suggesting? Since you and Tang Ning are getting married soon, she will no longer be a part of the industry. For the sake of Tianyi Entertainment, you need to make an announcement. You need to tell everyone that you were unaware of this entire incident and everything was just Tang Ning's attempt at creating hype, that's why she went behind our backs and pretended to be me. Mo Yura was completely throwing the blame onto Tang Ning. I guess, under these circumstances, that is all we can do Han Yufan nodded in agreement. However, just as he was trying to contact the head of PR, he received a call from his assistant. Quick, President Han, check the entertainment news headlines. Tang Ning's manager has just revealed some big news. Han Yufan quickly jumped online to search the headlines. To his disbelief, Tang Ning's manager was already a step ahead of them. She revealed that Han Yufan had forced Tang Ning to substitute Mo Yura multiple times in the past with comparison pictures of the two models as proof. She also complained that small companies tend to bully people and revealed that Tang Ning had been bullied for many years. In anger, Han Yufan quickly contacted Tang Ning's manager. Long Ji, are you crazy? On the other side of the phone, Long Ji's laughter resounded. Calmly she responded, I've wanted to leave this lousy company of yours for a long time. Yu Fan, this is definitely Tang Ning's doing. Quick, let's cover it up by posting news of her creating hype. Without hesitation, Han Yu Fan immediately contacted his connections in the media and got Long Ji's news taken down. He quickly replaced it with the news he had prepared earlier of Tang Ning's attempts at creating hype. In an instant, Tang Ning and Tianyi Entertainment became the most searched terms online with mixed responses. No one was aware of the relationship between Tang Ning and Mo Ting. So, compared to Tang Ning, no one was brave enough to offend Han Yufan. Tang Ning definitely received the shorter end of the stick, attracting an unbelievable amount of insults online. Just as everyone thought the tables had turned, the term Tang Ning substitute suddenly jumped to the top of search rankings. Search results all led to the news Long Ji had released earlier revealing that Tang Ning was the real victim. Of course, Long Ji's story had got out first and the netizens had already made their decision. On top of everything, the fact that Tang Ning had substituted Mo Yura so many times without causing any trouble and was continually being used became the hot topic online. The online community all agreed Tang Ning was indeed the victim. 
In disbelief, Han Yufan picked up his phone and contacted his PR, ordering them to use more money to take down Tang Ning's news. Meanwhile, Mo Ting was on the phone with the main news sources, if the news of Tang Ning disappears from search rankings, then be prepared for your companies to close down. The media couldn't offend Hai Rui, even though they didn't understand why Hai Rui was helping Tang Ning. Even Long Ji didn't understand why their plan had run so smoothly. She had originally expected it to take a few days, Tang Ning, tell me, are you being supported by another company? No, Tang Ning replied as she glanced at the man beside her. However, there is indeed a person that has been assisting me behind the scenes. But, I can't reveal who it is yet. Ha ha ha, that's okay. We will talk about it later. Just the thought of Han Yufan's distraught face is enough to satisfy me. Long Ji assumed Tang Ning had help from her family. She had no idea that Tang Ning had, in fact, suddenly become the wife of the king of entertainment, Mo Ting. Are you trying to use this opportunity to leave Tianyi? Mo Ting asked as he elegantly sliced the steak in front of him. No, I would be letting them off too easy if I was to leave so simply. I am going to tear them down from their perch, Tang Ning explained. Plus, I have already decided to return to the modeling industry. Unfortunately, my popularity isn't as great as before, which is why Tianyi may come of use. You are like this right now because you are angry. What if one day you no longer hate? What I have decided on, I will not regret, let alone turn back, Tang Ning told Mo Ting in certainty. When in love, she could love with all her heart. When in hate, she could tear the other person apart with her bare hands. On top of everything, quite a decent amount of time had passed since news of Tang Ning's exposure on stage had gotten out, yet, Han Yufan hadn't even made a single phone call to check on her. Instead, he had released news that could easily ruin Tang Ning. There was no way she was going to let Han Yufan hurt her again. Mo Ting remained silent, but he was already intrigued by Tang Ning. Tang Ning wasn't stupid, in fact, she was very smart. She knew she couldn't hide anything from Mo Ting, so she quickly revealed everything in front of him. Whether good or bad, there was no holding back all that existed was trust. I've asked my assistant to prepare a room in this hotel. Tonight, we will be staying here. My home is no fun. Tang Ning's ears flushed red as she nodded, up to you. Meanwhile, Han Yufan was all over the place, trying to come to a truce with the media and his business partners. Coupled with the news of Mo Yura's pregnancy, the thought of Tang Ning didn't even cross his mind nor did he care where she was right now. After a romantic dinner, Tang Ning followed closely behind Mo Ting as he led her to the presidential suite. Surprisingly, it wasn't just any normal presidential suite, it was actually a wedding suite. Under such rushed conditions, Mo Ting somehow managed to prepare so much for her she couldn't help but feel touched by his consideration. If it was someone else, there was no way they would have done the same. Mo Ting could sense the nervousness coming from Tang Ning. He removed his suit jacket as he turned to her and said, I'll have a shower first so you can have some time to make a decision. If you are still unsure, we can delay our wedding night indefinitely. Tang Ning was thankful for his thoughtfulness as she watched him head into the bathroom. But, they were already married, what right did she have to make Mo Ting accommodate for her childish indecisiveness? Thinking this, Tang Ning threw open the door and headed into the bathroom. Mo Ting looked at her in surprise as she reached out and embraced him in a tight hug, I do not regret. Are you sure? Once I've made you mine, you will no longer have the chance to change your mind. Mo Ting restrained himself. His deep sexy voice was enough to strike a chord in anyone's heart putting them into a daze. I am certain. Hearing her response, Mo Ting let himself go. With one hand, he grabbed Tang Ning by the waist and pressed his lips against hers. With his other hand, he undid her dress, which was now soaking wet. Tang Ning's mind was buzzing. She had never experienced a kiss like this before one so magical she was losing control. Standing under the shower, 
Tang Ning looked up at Mo Ting. Completely mesmerized, she examined his handsome looks. She noticed the diamond-like mole on his earlobe and his eyes that were looking at her passionately wanting to swallow her whole. However, even when the time came to take things further, he did not rush. Instead, he wrapped her in a towel and carried her in his arms out to the rose petal covered bed. Afterwards, his tall body came down on her, he was already wearing protection. However, just as he was about to enter her, he felt an obstruction. Tang Ning cried out in pain. Mo Ting pulled back quickly as he wrapped her in the blanket. He originally thought, since Tang Ning was in the entertainment industry and she had already been in a relationship with Han Yufan, this couldn't have possibly been her first time, but, the feeling just now, he was sure, she had never engaged in this type of activity before. What's wrong? Tang Ning noticed Mo Ting had stopped and couldn't help but lift her head up to question him. Her face was blushing attractively. Let's do it next time. Mo Ting was surprised, at the same time he felt bad for having misunderstood Tang Ning. Are you not satisfied with me? If I had continued going, you would have been hurt. Mo Ting put on his robe and returned to the bed, trying to control his desires. He didn't want Tang Ning's first time to be a bad experience, why didn't you tell me you had no experience? How was I to bring up something like this? Tang Ning responded as she huddled up against Mo Ting's shoulder. I knew you would have found out yourself. Anyway, what was that just now? Did we, do it? Regardless of whether we did it or not, you are now Mrs. Mo. You can't escape, after he spoke, Mo Ting stood up, lifted Tang Ning up and headed for the bathroom, let me see if you are hurt. Looking at the worried expression on his face, Tang Ning couldn't help but let out a laugh, you are nothing like how the outside world portrays you. How did you think I would be like? Mo Ting placed Tang Ning gently into the bathtub and turned on the water. A ruler with complete control over the life and death of his entertainers. A person with no human sense. To other people, I am indeed like that. Mo Ting expressed sincerely. But you are different, since you are my wife and are so trusting of me, I will show you my true self. However, Tang Ning, I must warn you. To me, a lie is a lie. If you betray my trust, I will never forgive you. Tang Ning sat up comfortably, her nose almost touching Mo Ting's, what a coincidence, I am the same. That night, their physical relationship had technically only reached halfway. But, their hearts had been drawn closer together. The next morning, Tang Ning awoke to the blinding light of the sun shining through the window. To her surprise, the spot beside her was already empty. Tang Ning thought Mo Ting had already left, but, he was actually waiting for her patiently in the living room whilst flipping through some documents. I've prepared some new clothes in the bathroom for you. We will leave after you freshen up. Tang Ning nodded obediently as she turned towards the bathroom. At that moment, her phone suddenly rang, it was Han Yufan. Tang Ning looked at Mo Ting awkwardly as he charmingly lifted one eyebrow and asked, Do you want me to pick it up? Of course not, the timing isn't right. Mo Ting knew what she was thinking, so he grabbed the phone and handed it to her. Tang Ning did not step aside to take the phone call, instead, she confidently pressed the answer button, right in front of Mo Ting. Tang Ning, where are you right now? I was afraid the reporters would find me, so I found a place to hide, Tang Ning replied calmly. So, you're saying you aren't aware of the incident with Long Ji? Han Yufan asked in a patient tone. What's wrong with Long Ji? The place I have hidden in is quite remote so I haven't been able to keep up with what's happening on the outside, what happened? Tang Ning tried her best to sound curious. Thanks to your manager, Tianyi is now in a mess. Return to the office first, I'm going to arrange for you to hold a press conference. Tang Ning, I am depending on you to clear Tianyi's name. Press conference? More like another opportunity for him to throw the blame on Tang Ning. Did he really think she was still that naive? 
Tang Ning hung up the phone in disgust, when suddenly Mo Ting began to speak, I've already saved my number in your phone. Anytime you need me, give me a call and let me know what you want to do. Thank you, Mo Ting. You shouldn't be calling me that, Mo Ting unfolded his legs and pulled Tang Ning to his side, call me something else, or I won't let you go. Tang Ning blushed as she whispered shyly, H, hubby, a rare smile appeared on Mo Ting's face. Come on, I'll drop you off at work. Remember what you promised, don't get too close to another man. Tang Ning knew exactly what Mo Ting was referring to. She responded with a reassuring smile and a hopeful look in her eyes for Mo Ting to trust her. Mo Ting's heart skipped a beat. Between the two of them, there was nothing more to say. In just 40 minutes, Mo Ting had successfully driven Tang Ning to a location close to Tianyi Entertainment. As the king of entertainment, he knew all the deepest, darkest secrets of the industry. Hence, he was curious as to how Tang Ning intended on turning the tables to retrieve her position as top model. Tang Ning knew what she was getting herself into. It was clear that this was a game where she had to keep her cards hidden, whilst her enemies had already laid their cards on the table. If she couldn't change the outcome even after swapping out her entire hand, then she would have to admit defeat. After stepping out of Mo Ting's car, she accessed the building through a secret walkway. As soon as the staff spotted Tang Ning, the room was filled with mixed reactions of disgust, hate and mockery, as if they were sure Long Ji's revelations were all under Tang Ning's directions. Tang Ning pretended not to notice. She walked over to Han Yufan's room and pushed open the door as her gaze met the back of Han Yufan's head. You're back, Han Yufan turned around holding back his anger. Tell me, what happened? Tang Ning, are you certain you don't know about the incident with Long Ji? Han Yufan threw the newspaper reports in front of Tang Ning. He questioned her angrily, if she didn't receive orders from you, how would she be brave enough to do this? Yu Fan, we are about to get married, why would I do something like this? Wouldn't that be pushing you away? Tang Ning choked on her words as she looked at him innocently. Then, how do you explain why you placed the crown star on your ankle at the show? You knew very well, that the biggest difference between you and Yura are your legs. Tang Ning looked at Han Yu Fan as he interrogated her. She thought back on the multiple times that Han Yufan had protected Mo Yura in the same way. She once thought it was all because he was trying to protect his own growing career, so she was willing to endure being wronged and allowed him to stick up for another person. But from the looks of it now, the only person he wanted to protect all along had solely been Mo Yura. At the time, I had no way of wearing the crown star on anywhere but my ankles. Mo Yura's assistant was also present you can ask him. I asked him already and he said you had made the decision yourself, Han Yufan pressed on. Yufan, I am your fiancé, yet you choose to believe an outsider. Tang Ning faked a look of disappointment as she continued to observe Han Yufan's reactions, yesterday, we were supposed to be signing our wedding papers. It's too late to say anything now. The damage is done HF has already notified the court of their intention to sue Tianyi for breaching the contract and thanks to your manager, the public's negative reactions towards Tianyi are now getting worse and worse. You need to take responsibility for this. Han Yufan looked down at Tang Ning condescendingly. He gave off the aura of an almighty god passing judgment. You will be my wife soon, I don't want my wife to hurt my career. That's why, Tang Ning. For the sake of Tianyi, you have the responsibility to step out and explain to the public the entire mess was created by your manager for hype and has nothing to do with Tianyi. Admitting that my manager was responsible is just like admitting I was responsible. Weren't you the one that called me to hastily substitute Mo Yura? Tang Ning cried, Yu Fan, is it because I am to marry you, that I should be sacrificed? I don't care. Being recognized was your fault. As soon as those words left his lips, Han Yufan must have felt he had gone too far. He quickly calmed down and reached out his arms to give Tang Ning a hug, however, she retaliated by pushing him away. Tang Ning, 
I was just getting a bit impatient. Just this once, after we are married, I promise to treat you well. Of course, Tang Ning held back her tears and nodded, I am doing this, not because I admit to creating this mess, it is because I want to protect your career. But, there will be no next time. Yes, I promise, there will be no next time. In actual fact, Han Yufan knew Tang Ning would fall for it again next time. Especially after they were married, according to Tang Ning's character, she would be easily controlled by him. The press conference will be this afternoon at 3 p.m. We will have a meeting in a minute to go over your script. Okay. Tang Ning stopped crying and forced herself to look into Han Yufan's eyes like always. But, as soon as she left the room, her eyes swept over with a cold gaze. She couldn't immediately forget the jerk, but, she was going to stick by her decisions. There was no way she was going to take on the blame for Han Yufan's wrongdoings again. After thinking carefully, she returned to her own room and phoned her manager, Long Ji, Han Yufan is trying to use me as a shield. Ha ha. Tang Ning, tell me what you want me to do. Her manager was full of fighting spirit. 3 p.m. I will announce I created the mess and apologize. Afterwards, I want you to anonymously release photos of Han Yufan and Mo Yura being affectionate in the hospital. Ha <laughs> ha, sure. I've even thought up of a great headline exposed. Tian Yi's boss has multiple affairs, the biggest cheating scum. Tang Ning couldn't help but respond with a laugh, before she began to apologize, sorry, Long Ji, for dragging you into all this. Tang Ning, as long as you have made the decision to start afresh, I will help you return to being the top model. In fact, not only that, I will help you become, an international supermodel.